Hello, um, I thought we could start the day with a little chat, and um, I thought I would try kind of a different format where we can have a little chat while I um, try to make a sketch for an upcoming piece. Tea break. I've got some peppermint tea in there today. Pretty lovely. Um, yeah, so I haven't really tried that before. Um, and we'll just see, we'll see if it works. I'm still thinking about um, deep sea creatures. Like I said before, I like to make things in kind of a series of 12. Whether or not that's really even reasonable, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that is what I've kind of been, that's what I've been conditioned to do after, after college where we make everything in a series of 12 or how your your final sort of culminating body of work had to be you know at least 12 things so for some reason it feels like okay if it's not 12 it's not it's not anything so so what i'm making now or working on a sketch for is a, a giant isopod so these guys look they kind of look like these Roly polies, <clears throat> roly polies of the sea. You know, they're really um, large and have that kind of sectioned shell structure with those really neat, kind of repetitive um, shell parts. If that makes sense, I hopefully hopefully you'll see as it goes. Um, yeah, and I just think it's really neat. So the deep sea creatures is it's definitely a series I'm pursuing at the moment and going to continue um, to pursue until I feel until I either have 12 deep sea creatures illustrated or drawn or until I just feel um, after I have 12, I'll continue drawing them um, until I feel like, oh, okay, I've gotten a I'm satiated on that, right? That's that's the goal is just to be like, okay, when when have we reached like a kind of a satiation point with the with the deep sea creatures? And then that might never come. So I really might just be drawing deep sea creatures for the rest of my life, to be honest. So this guy's gonna kind of go off frame, which I'm okay with. I think he's um, I, I know when I was first learning how to draw, I didn't really learn until college. I went, to, I took a drawing class for at community college, which is really, um, I mean, it's kind of like jumping in at the deep end because you, you know, in that room, you have people who are quite good at drawing. So it, um, it can not, not shake your confidence, but it can be intimidating but it was one of the few things in life where I was like you know what I'm just going to have um positive attitude about it and I'm just going to go for it and be vulnerable and make art and maybe it will be good maybe it'll be terrible but I'm just going to jump in and like embrace this experience um but at any rate I learned that you want to avoid these things called awkward moments so um anywhere where things are like awkwardly cut off on the page is not ideal. However, um, sometimes I think an awkward moment is kind of fun. <laughs> and I think it's, I don't know, it adds a little interest and it can make for a little bit more of a dynamic kind of composition. So I'm okay with like a little bit of awkwardness. Hopefully, hopefully everyone else is okay with it too, I, I would say. So I'm going in and kind of trying to round out these edges here because he, they actually don't have like these super uniform edges. It seems like there's some variety in the way they sort of present here. I think we're gonna round out in different ways and have like a line. So I'm noticing like a line that goes sort of at the edge there. Um, so I'd love to learn I love to learn more about what it is and how it works. So I don't really, I don't really plan on coloring this guy in today. So this is going to be something 
that will be shown in stages. I think I mostly want to do the line drawing today. And then I could do possibly a color some other time. I've been making line drawings. Um, and then afterwards, I've been... I've been making line drawings and then coloring them directly onto the pencil um, line drawing. I've been coloring it in with marker and crayon. And I don't really know that I want to, um, I know I don't want to do it every time. What I used to do is I would just preserve the line drawing. I would scan it and then I would print a copy of that onto cardstock and then I would draw or paint onto that. And cardstock is not like 100% the best for drawing and painting, but I always felt better like preserving this original line drawing because then I could easily turn it into a stencil in Art Rage. You know, I could really easily turn it into something that that I liked um, or that was easy to sort of deal with. Easy to kind of manipulate and turn into something else. So let's see, one, two three so they have these like um sectioned legs the legs are kind of like these funny sections i really might i wouldn't be surprised if within the same conversation i end up um actually coloring it in because i'm like well but wait <laughs> maybe that'd be interesting so i'm gonna give him some little sectioned toesies here which is what it seems like he has and yeah, I would be interested to know if people um, find these giant isopods to be as kind of like, I don't know, charming. I guess they remind me of the roly polies of my youth. And when I was young, roly polies really seemed like magical and friendly. I mean, they just, they, they really seem like a very just vulnerable, sweet, sort of friendly critter you know like they need someone to look after them and make sure they don't get you know get stepped on so yeah i always i did always like them um yeah so we're i have to say that i'm not um like a naturalist or a scientist so these drawings are um should we say like the result of kind of a bit of creative license, a bit of creative sort of inspiration. So if I ever draw something and anyone sees it and they're like, oh my goodness, like that is so not accurate. Um, well, I'd be happy to hear, first of all, because, you know, I'm always happy to hear how I can improve. So, so that would be, um, you know, fine to kind of convey that. But also um, there's an element of um, especially with illustration, because I'm, I'm trying to learn how to be more of an illustrator and less of um, just like a fine, fine artist. So especially with illustration, there's um, kind of room for simplification and modification. You know, most illustrations, especially you look at like Roald Dahl or someone like that, you know, those are not... <laughs> Those are not, like, proportions are different. Um, and that's kind of where some of the charm comes from, I think. I think that's what makes it charming and interesting. So, yeah, let's see if we can get this guy looking, looking good. So we've got some different parts here. I really might... And I keep trying to draw them in. And now I like to have some of the lines just be sort of like delicate and not very and not very intense. But realistically, I do think that they um I think I need to make them a little darker in order to sort of read, especially if I'm gonna make this into a stencil put it into our age and color it in. So yeah, I, I might, I'm interested in, I like the way things turn out with colored pencil, especially with Prismacolors. I enjoy Prismacolors because they have 
they're really nicely nicely pigmented just like a good good saturation there but we'll see it's funny so I might what I might do is I think I'll make a copy of this onto cardstock use the prisma colors on cardstock we'll just see how that goes um and then from there I will um I will do I'll color it in and then from there I can still scan it into art reach so I have I have options at least that's the goal anyway is to have options but let's see here yeah I think he's I think he looks pretty pretty close to what I was hoping for for a start to the day just a friendly giant isopod and I'll be sure to add more to this as it goes I'll be sure to let you know to kind of post um, and updates if I kind of find my way with the with the giant isopod but yeah so so far I'm pretty um, I gotta clean up some of these original lines right um yeah, I'm just pr I'm pretty happy with him. He looks friendly and friendly and interesting, which is kind of what he is. So we'll I'll post as we as we kind of develop this this friend. Yeah. Here we go. Have a good day.